I'm Petty Officer Margie Rodriguez. On this edition of the AFN Daily Dunk Report, the commissary reopens for business, and Dinfo students can enjoy more food options. Fort Meade's Defense Information School Cafe, The Cup, has increased its services for customers. The Cup's manager started expansion in July to accommodate for the increase in student load. Students can choose from a larger variety of sandwiches and baked goods. The Cup has also extended its hours. That increase in the amount of items in itself is going to be an improvement that the students will benefit from. The fact that they're going to be open longer, uh, you know, when you get those drowsies at the end of the day, uh, you, you'll still be able to go there and get a cup of coffee. Hours of operation have been changed to 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. The Cup's new hours are under a six-month trial period to test if it is necessary. Thieves have been targeting Fort Meade's Post Exchange. Army Private Jared Flood has more on what changes PX customers can expect. Theft has been increasing at the Fort Meade Post Exchange, or PX. Both the main PX as well as the warehouse are facing $56,000 in theft over the past three months. The Morale, Welfare and Recreation Funds, or MWR, is known for its support of the PX. The losses resulted in an increase in security measures. Security is conducting a 100% ID check as well as installing new security cameras. The exchange is also hiring two roving plainclothed detectives to keep an eye out. The PX manager wants the community to come together to help catch the thieves. We're also going to implement a hotline. Actually, it's already implemented, which is 1-800-STOP with extension 3300. So if any customers see any suspicious activity, they can certainly call that hotline or contact any of the employees at the store. Ms. Wiltshire also said customers can use the hotline to file a report anonymously. She says the theft is negatively affecting the community and must stop immediately. Military shoplifters are subject to prosecution under UCMJ, and civilian shoplifters must answer to local authorities. Reporting from Fort Meade, Maryland, I'm Army Private Jared Flood. Shoppers can continue to buy their groceries at Fort Meade's commissary. Army Sergeant Ray Boynton has more on the commissary's upgrades. The Fort Meade commissary has reopened for business after being closed for a month for renovations. The doors opened for customers again yesterday with a more modern and cleaner shopping experience. It's a lot better. It's a lot nicer. I'm coming into it. I'm like, this place is amazing. They got so much stuff. I mean, I'll probably shop here every week if, if I can. They got a lot of uh, nice, fresh produce now. Before, they didn't have that as much. Um, they, they just have nice, wider aisles to shop in, and it's not all cluttered. And, you know, I might come every day. Fort Meade has one of the best commissaries in, in the Army, in, of any other Army installation that I've been to so far. Um, and I would go there first versus going off base because things are priced a lot better at the commissary. It was also remodeled to accommodate more residents and their families. 4,300 people were assigned to Fort Meade during the past year. Improvements include more and wider aisles, more cashier lines, cosmetic changes, and other upgrades. The commissary has gone through a lot of different changes, mostly to improve the shopping experience. But that's not all. They even have new things to try, like sushi. Base Realignment and Closure, or BRAC, provided funds for the project. Reporting from Fort Meade, I'm Army Sergeant Ray Boynton. Fort Meade residents set up for some friendly competition. Participants have joined the base's third annual volleyball tournament at Murphy's Fieldhouse. Staff Sergeant Joe Schmo created this yearly tournament to raise funds for the Wounded Warrior Project. Players paid a $5 fee to be a part of this single elimination game. All proceeds will be donated to the Wounded Warrior Project. And that's the AFN Daily Dunk Report. I'm Petty Officer Margie Rodriguez, dunking all day, every day.